G'day guys, welcome to the Carnival Queensland YouTube page. I'm Mark Richards, I'm your Carnival Queensland Sales Manager. Today one of the number one things I get asked for when I'm out on the road is visuals of how the rooms look. So what, what I thought I would do in this particular video is I thought I'd put together a quick snapshot until you can see where the rooms are, the layout um, and how they visually look as well. That'll help you um, talk to and engage in your customers as well. Particularly if you haven't had the um, opportunity to come on board Spirit or Legend, uh, you'll be able to see a good little in-depth into this particular, um, the way, the, the beauty that she has on board. Now, when I'm referring to these two rooms, I am referring to both Carnival Spirit and Legend, okay? And the reason being is because the ships are the same build, so the room types are very, very similar. Okay, there are a couple of little different features once you're on board, um, but most of them you can see generally how the rooms will look, okay? So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover off the interior rooms, ocean view, the balcony, and the suites as well. And I'm going to start at the suites and work my way down. Okay, so first first off, I just want to show you, with, with our accommodation, you'll notice a couple of things. Um, we do, uh, it is a daily serviced room as well, which is great. So these are things you can talk to your customers about. Um, every morning the room is made up, if you want it to be. If you don't want it to be made up, you can hang your little... Um, sign out of the door and say, you know, snoozing or, or cruising, depending on what you are. Um, very quirky and fun. And then of an evening, uh, the bed, there is a daily, a daily turn down service as well. So you'll notice the bed is refreshed again in the evening. Um, the lights, you know, the main lights are dimmed down, the bedside lights are turned on, you find little chocolates on your pillow, and as well as the daily planner as well for what's happening tomorrow and the next day or, you know, whatever day is following that you're on. You also find as well, one of the things Carnival we're very famous for is our little towel animals as well. So you can see a little elephant on the bed there as well. So every, every evening you'll find a little elephant or a little monkey hanging from the rafters or you'll find uh, a little frog or anything along those lines, swans, all sorts of crazy towel animals. And one of the funny things is when you go looking for your sunnies and you find that the monkey's wearing your sunnies. That's always a bit of fun. You know, we are the fun ship, so we do represent little quirky little antics like that on board. Um, all the rooms as well have a TV that you'll notice as well, and the TV has a ship channel as well, which will show you where the ship's going, the direction of it. So if you are in somewhere like an inside room, it is nice to be able to flick that on to the, um, the camera from the bridge, and as the sun comes up, you can see what's happening outside. Top little tip there. Um, the rooms have, you know, if you're in a balcony room, for example, you have the balcony. Um, you also have, there's also little couches and things like that as well, little tables and some magazines to read, um, which is great to see. This is this at the top here, which you'll see is uh, what we call a Pullman bed. Okay, that's a, a bed that comes out of the roof. So if I ever refer to a Pullman, it means it's a bed that either comes out of the wall, out of the roof, to make it either a quad room or a triple room, depending on the configuration that you're in. Okay, so we're going to start off with the suites, as I mentioned. Uh, the suites are a great upsell for your customers. Uh, the real benefits of going to a suite are that you do get um, things like priority embarkation, priority disembarkation. What does that mean? It means when you arrive at the ship, you can basically walk straight on. You don't have to wait for your allocated time uh, to be able to board, board or disembark uh, when you're getting on and off the ship. Okay, so you notice most of our, majority of our main suites are on the Empress deck, which is deck six, uh, right in midship. Uh, so we start at the top of the house, we do have a grand suite, then we go to Vista, and then we go to Ocean View. Um, so Ocean Suite. So, you can find at the back of the ship there, you'll see our Vista Suites, uh, and then the, uh, you can maybe see them through, this, through the colour here. They're actually pink and blue. They represent the Ocean Suites, um, pink being the quads and blue being in the triples and twins. Okay, see the difference there. We do, offer, do also have quite a few Ocean Suites towards the aft end of the ship as well, and as well as two Junior Suites on deck four. Okay, so the Junior Suites are a nice size as well. Okay, so we want to start off with the Grand Suite. The Grand Suite, as I mentioned, is top of the house, uh, right dead centre, middle of the ship. So very easy to be able to access, uh, you know, to, uh, if you want to go up to Lido decks, or if you want to go down to the entertainment decks down on um, deck, um, you know, three and four, two and three, sorry, you can access those quite easily. You notice they're a nice big area as well. The, the total size of the Grand Suite is 38 square metres. So it is a nice size, nice and relaxing and nice and comfortable as well. You'll notice as we do like a, a shot there as well, and that's a great picture. That shows you the size of the room. But also, every single bed on our ship, in both Spirit and Legend, can either be set up as a king or two twins. Okay, in this case, it's set up as a twin. Um, 
you know, if you was to be a king, obviously to be a king bed there as well. Okay, and you'll see at the foot of the bed, you'll see that that couch just beyond the table. Uh, that couch there is is to sit on and relax. You can watch the TV from there, which is just to the right of the cabin. Um, but if you did go to a, a quad cabin in this situation, you would that would then turn into a bed, and then you'd have a pullman come out of the roof that would then turn into a bunk bed. Okay, that's one of the quads we have. The other quad we have as well, and we only have one of them, and it's the only quad in it that, that's like this on both Spoon and Legend, is we do have a double sofa bed um, that that can roll out to as well on in the Grand Suites, and only the Grand Suites. Okay, so you'll notice as well, nice size bathroom as well, jacuzzi bath there, as well as a shower. You have your vanity unit, your toilet, um, and then a decent size balcony as well. So that's what we're really getting when you get in the Grand Suite, a lot more space, uh, great location on the ship as well. Okay, the next room type, which is the second highest room category, is what we call our Vista Suites. And our Vista Suites, as I mentioned, are in the court, in the right of the real back of the ship, and they're in the corners. Um, I really like a Vista Suite. I think it's a great location. Uh, you've got beautiful views from your balcony as well, where you are, you, where you've come from, basically, where you're sailing. Um, and and they're, they're a nice size as well. So the Vista Suites are a little bit bigger in size, and the reason being... They're not bigger in actual room size, but because they've got a slightly larger balcony, which I'll show you in a sec, they're 43 square meters in size. Okay, so you'll notice here, that's the balcony. So the balcony is a big size. It does wrap around to the ship slightly to the side. Um, so you can see there, you do have a little bit more space there as well. Um, now the Vista Suite does, uh, it, we do have three triples in the Vista Suite as well, which is good to know. So we're looking at the deck plan above a, a snapshot from the top of the, room you'll see there the actual room size of the Vista Suite then the entry into the um, where the vanity area is into the little makeup area is into your little bathroom where you have a jacuzzi bath um, your toilet things like that but you'll notice where your couch is on the Vista Suite in the triple that is where the, the triple bed is so you can it's the only room type we actually have on board on the ship where you do have a little bit more I don't say two separate rooms you can make it out, out as you do um, but you can see the two different areas there where you can sleep. So if you have got mum and dad and, and, a, and a child, they do have a little bit more privacy than they normally would in a, in a, in a square cabin uh, that you'll see beforehand. So it's a great little room type there as well. Nice big uh, cupboard as well, walk and robe area where you can put all your suitcases and things like that as well. Of course, all the suitcases do go under the bed. Now, we do also have a series of interconnecting cabins as well. So the Vista Suite will interconnect a twin onto a triple on two different occasions on the ship. So you'll be able to see that. Sorry, three different occasions on the ship as well. You'll see that. Um, so that's a great option. Okay. Then we have our Ocean Suite. Again, a very nice size room type. Uh, you can see there, very similar location generally to the Grand Suite. However, we do have more, some towards the aft end as well. And as I mentioned before, if we look at the deck plan as well, you can see there, nice big room top, nice big balcony, lounge on your balcony like all the suites. A um, little area where you can go in and you can do your makeup prior to going into the bathroom as well. So that's fantastic. Uh, it's a great little room type. Uh, I really like the Ocean Suite. Reason being is they're, they're generally really well priced as well. And that we do have the most of them as well. So they're good to be able to talk to and engage with your customer so they can see them. Okay. Then we got our balconies. Now balconies are great because balconies is what we have the majority of on board. Now the ones I've highlighted there are just your standard balconies, not your extended balconies. So your extended balconies again have a slightly bigger balcony. Um, but I, as you can see there, we have a huge amount of balconies. So the great look, the great thing about a balcony is, and what you always talk to your customers about is, it's your own little private place on the ship that nobody else can come into. And one of my favourite things, and what I talk to customers all the time, is to say, hey, look. You know, what you do in an afternoon before you're about to get ready, um, jump up to La Paya Grill quickly or the Lido Cafe. Go up there, grab some smoked salmon, some cheese, some olives, some biscuits, you know, and a couple of beers. Come down, sit on your balcony, have a few snacks, flip the iTunes on your mobile phone on, listen to some music, and it's your little place on the ship while you're getting ready to go to dinner that evening. It's a fan fantastic little place um, to call your own as well, okay, which I really love as well. It's so, also, you know, you've got fresh air on the balcony as well. Really good upsell uh, to your customers. And look, at the end of the day, when you they're going to have a much uh, more enhanced experience with a balcony, um, which is great to see. So there you'll see a balcony. The room types are really nice size. 
They are very, very big. Um, the, as I mentioned before, the beds, the, yes, they can be split into king uh, or two single beds, depending on who you're traveling with. Deck chairs out on the balcony as well as a little table to put your snacks on. And again, you've got the TV in the room. You've got a little um, bar fridge in the room as well. Uh, you know, full hair, dry, hair dryers, things like that in all the rooms as well. So you'll be able to use that. Uh, and as you can see to the right, the bottom right hand corner, you can see there a little couch with a little table. So, you know, if you want to sit and read the newspaper or if you want to read something, you've got that little area right there and you're not flopping all over the bed as well. So, great little uh, place for you to hang out in. Okay, there's a, there's a picture of the snapshot from the roof. As I mentioned, very big size balconies. Uh, you can see there, nice size balcony, also nice size room. And um, the great thing about the showers too is you've got a you've got a decent sized shower in there, and you can actually use the vanity unit as well while you're in the shower. So, well, not the same person, a separate person. So you can see it's nice, nice and spacious, and helps with getting ready. Okay. Now, if you do go to a quad uh, balcony quad, this is what we become very, very popular for, in particular in the family market as well as the couples is because of the, the configuration of the balcony quad. That's a picture of the balcony quad. Okay, that's also the same configuration that you'll find in the ocean view and as I mentioned before in the suites as well, slightly different, but you'll see very similar. Uh, that is a luggage mat on the bed. Okay, so that's where you put your luggage when you first get into the bed. It's not a, uh, it does get removed. Um, but it's a great little shot. I, I love that photo because you can see there you've got, you know, a king size bed or, or twins and then you've got the, the, the couch that you would have seen before then turns into the bed with a pullman above it. Uh, so if you've got, you know, if you've got younger kids, you know, you've got a, maybe a, a three-year-old and a five-year-old, three-year-olds on the lower, on the berth as well. They're not all up in bunks. Mum and dad can still sleep in the same bed together. And then at, then the bed actually gets packed up in the morning when you do that, the, when the when your room steward comes in and makes up your room. And then you've got a couch so the kids can sit on the couch uh, as well as watch some TV so they're not flopping all over again, all over mum and dad's bed. It's a great room type. So that's one of the things I love about that particular room type, particularly the quad. Uh, all your suitcases can push under the bed, uh, so you've got all that space, extra space in your in your room. Okay, then we move to a very unique room type, and this is something that I find a great little one to show. I'm going to talk about two that are right here. The first one on the right-hand side there, you'll see a balcony obstructed. Okay, and that's the balcony obstructed room, which I'll talk about in a sec. But then we have a very unique room type, which is called an interior with window obstructed views. Now, we, a lot of people would call that an outside obstructed. We don't. We call it an interior obstructed, and I'll show you why when we see the picture. Uh, it's a great room type, uh, and what the great thing about it is that in this particular quad room, you get the same quad layout as you would in uh, the balcony room that I showed you before. So same layout, obviously, minus the balcony because um, it's an interior. So really great for families. Now, there are only, um, there's only about... Uh, uh, 10 of them so just keep in mind that you know try and get in early with them if you are going to book them um, But do the price comparison difference you know to go up to the full balcony uh, If you break it down by actual dollars per day sometimes it doesn't work out too much difference You know it's 30 bucks a day 40 bucks a day each kind of thing and you've um, and you've gone up to that next level Okay, and then we've got our balcony obstructed. Okay, so I'm going to start with the balcony obstructed a lot of people are very um, pleased to see our particular balcony obstructed because your physical balcony is not actually obstructed. You're not, when you can walk out there, you haven't got anything on your balcony, but you do have a little bit of an obstruction on the, uh, from your view. And the reason being is, as you can see there, yep, that's a lifeboat right in front of you, okay? So you've got two different types, a lifeboat and a tender boat, and then you might have a winching arm or a winching cable or something like that in front of you just to create that, um, that little bit of an obstruction. Uh, if you are towards the front, uh, the rooms, if you look at a deck plan, you'll be able to see it. The, the three uh, tender boats at the front of the ship, they are tender boats, that's a tender boat in front of us. Uh, if you are more towards the aft end or the mid part of the ship, you will get you will have be obstructed by a lifeboat, and the lifeboats are a little bit lower in view, so they don't quite come up as high because they're not tender boats. Uh, tender boats are the boats that will take um, you to shore uh, from the ship, so you can see that as well very easily. And that's our balcony obstructed, and that's category 7, 8, lead in balcony. If you ever book a balcony guarantee, you could end up with this balcony or above. So keep that in mind when booking. Okay, and then finally the 4K interior window obstructed, and there you can see it's a great little example right there. You can see the room type. Um, I'm just, so I'm just going to backpedal a little bit. The balcony uh, size is 20.9 square meters, okay? Uh, and then you'll find your, your, um, your interior 
obstructed is 17 square meters okay it's a little bit smaller and the reason being is same room size but it doesn't have the balcony which is where it's missing that three square meters okay and that's obviously the balcony and you can see that it's a great picture because you have got the lifeboat right in front of you look i uh, never never think you're going to get a view with it because sometimes you can see between the ships a little bit but the the, the lifeboats but look if you, it's not really you don't you don't get a view with it okay what you do get which is very unique because you do have those French doors. Now those doors can be requested to be open. They are locked uh, when you get into your room, but you can ask the room steward to unlock them. Uh, and then what you've got as well, so you can get a little bit of fresh air, but you, the minute you open the, bat, the French door, the, uh, the, the railing of the balcony is right there, so you cannot step out. I call it a Juliet balcony or French balcony. Open the door, a bit of fresh air can come in the room. Uh, however, you do have the tender boats right there as well in front of you, or the lifeboats. Okay, again, room configuration can either be a king or can be two twins. And as I mentioned before, the quad configuration does have the Pullman coming out of the roof with the lower berth on the couch that turns into the couch right there. Okay, then we're talking about our ocean view. And our ocean view room types are great. We only have one deck of ocean view room types. Okay, and that's um, the Riviera deck. You'll see there, there's some great ones there. The ocean view, you can see the ones that are in yellow with the little square next to them. They're our our quad rooms and the rest are all your twins and your triples okay so again the ocean view room is a great room type it is 17 square meters as well again the same size same cabin size as the balconies have it doesn't have the balcony hence this is a little bit of a smaller room okay you've got again you've got either a, you've got um, the king size bed that does convert to a twin and then you've also got the um, the couch that can be turned into a bed as well which is which is really great to see okay so that's a really good little view of how that particular room type looks and you can see it again I'll show you just quickly that is how the quad would look if it was set up as a quad with the bottom bed not being made up of course in this situation okay so that's how our quad room looks in the ocean view category the next picture you'll see here you'll see from from above and you can see a very similar layout to the way the balcony room is um, of course without the balcony so as I mentioned before the the size that's 17 square meters nice size bathroom nice size area to be able to relax and enjoy yourself as well um, also one thing to make a big note of as well is we do have a lot of interconnecting state rooms and we do interconnect from uh, in Carnival Spirit and Legend in Carnival Spirit of 86 and Carnival Legend we have 106 interconnecting state rooms now these do vary from a 2 onto a 2, a 2 onto a 3 or a 2 onto a 4 so the families of um, five or six are actually came for in this particular situation. I have got a really good video on my YouTube channel about how to find those interconnecting state rooms. So feel free to pull that and have a look at it. Um, it's a great little shot to be able to, you know, talk to your customers about it and find the, those interconnecting rooms as quick as possible. So that concludes the rooms. I uh, hope you guys all get a lot out of it. Um, remember, feel free to flick through it, have a look as you go in. Um, I've got a few other videos on my YouTube channel, so feel free to watch those as well um, the Spirit 2.0 upgrades as well as um, some tips and tricks on how to use Polar and things like that. So guys thank you very much for watching uh, this particular video and um, you know have happy sailing and of course happy sailing. This is Mark, your Carnival BDM. Chat to you soon. Bye.